you're gonna get this your your channel taken down trust me <laughs> this going on you too this going on you too <laughs> I'm gonna bring your whole empire down Hey, Scissor Siblings, come see me live in Huntington Beach, California this weekend and this Tuesday for Stand Up on the Spot at the Comedy Store. Then I'll be making my way down to the La Jolla Comedy Store near San Diego, California. Then you can come see me in St. Louis, Syracuse, New York, and New York City. JeremiahWatkins.com for tour dates and ticket info. Love you guys. Now let's get into this episode of Scissor Bros. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh sh. That was a good one. <laughs> That should not have been the podcast. <laughs> that should have definitely been the no podcast. No freaking yeah, way, dude. Yeah, that's what I want. The real shit. That's too much, dude. What do you mean it's, it's not too, too much? They that's can't the handle shit. what no, just happened. No, they can't handle it. No, they can't. People like the drama. Patreon.com slash scissor bros. People like the drama. Maybe. They want the friction, man. They I want don't the know, realness. Man. They want it. That was some... I that don't think that that talk. was fun. That you was, want that on the podcast? That's real talk, baby. That's what people tune into. They want to hear the real shit. Right, Gerald? Yeah, like, why isn't even my head in frame? YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. I mean, they're here right now. Yep, Yep, we're in it. You got something for me? I feel like in this mood. Hmm? Uh, Now, question for you. Are you you wanting to play that right now? Yeah. Okay. I think I might red zone right now. (laughs) (laughs) That's the real thing. (laughs) See, now you're being real. I like that. What? Yeah, I want to see more of that. That xylophone was annoying to me. I know, but I want to see that. What? You want to see me get pissed? Yeah, I like that. Why? Because it's real. I understand it's it's real. real. And I want to see, I I like that authenticity. I'm being authentic. I love you, brother. I, you know, I love you, we, dude. I like having real talks with you. That's all. Okay. Yeah. You got something for the keyboard? I got. Now I'm in the mood. Play some. Oh. Yeah. Dude, you know what this is like? What? This is a couple that now you're in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Play something, brother. Let's no. get something going on. Come on, man. Let's add the positivity back. Come on, get a, get that keyboard can going, we dude. Scissor, I got something for you. Can we scissor I got away whatever yeah. that There's no just negativity was. though. This can is we all- clear the room? If you're home with us, sometimes you gotta do some extra scissors to get some scissor negativity Bros out vinyl. Here. Ready? Coming into a home near you. What did you say? Scissor Bros vinyls out. Oh, it is. Scissor Bros vinyls out. Scissor Bros is we out. Got, the the if vinyl. You, if you want the physical copies, hit us up. Yeah, we got you. The in the description below, uh, description they're starting below. to ship out. If you okay. ordered it, they're already shipping out. Shout your out way. to the Comedy Store yeah. Records for putting that out. We love you. Yeah. Okay. Very exciting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, what? Oh, my God. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32, oh my god, there's a record for you. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Are you doing this along with us? 41, 42, 43. At home, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. We haven't done 50 in a minute, brother, and I feel better. Have we done an Energizer Bunny turtle song? Yes. Okay. <laughs> How you doing, man? I feel better now that we. So before we started uh, recording, we had we, we really talked things out, and I had a great time doing it, and I feel better talking about it. Oh, good. Yeah. Do yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't look like you. I 
feel great. I feel great. Hey, you know what? This is a part. Of, communication's important, man. I've heard that in relationships. It's important, man. I know it is. It's not good to keep it inside. I know. You know we both I mean? said some things that, oh, that yeah. we revealed to each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some of them. Go ahead. Some of them were hurtful. Some of them were not. I, I know. I know. <laughs> but I didn't. We don't no, mean to hurt us, each other. Neither of us aimed to hurt each other. other. We were just talking the real, real. Authentic. We're like becoming like real siblings, me and you. Oh, I know. It's scary. Like, <laughs> like we've fought, we've yelled at each other. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, we've been through the whole gambit. Yeah. Like we've, you know, hotel rooms. Yeah. Oh, I remember, know. remember that time in Missouri? Dude, we got into it there too, bro. Well, yeah, because you were like on barely any sleep. And then, oh, my, so, but that's how real siblings go. I know, I know. You know what I mean? I know. We're sisters, you know baby. I love that. Because if it was not that, then it wouldn't be like this. This is real stuff. A real relationship. You're, you're, did you? I'm curious. Did you have a conversation or have you just been thinking about this? A lot of our talk was how Steve wanted to make sure that we're being authentic to ourselves. Right? That's fair to say. Think about what you're about to say. These are our viewers here. Oh no. oh no! Oh, I'm wearing oh, no you pun, tonight. No pun intended. Hey, can I tell you a funny story about this shirt? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, for my wife's birthday, never. I never do this. I got a pedicure with my wife. See, dude, you now you're living life, brother. At a nail salon. I've now never done this life. before. And the woman who was worked, she Asian? Oh yeah. And the woman. <laughs> what was that? Look <laughs> the camera. Was she Asian? She it's said, typical, "Stereotypical." She said, "I was uh, like, I was really worried about, I was self conscious about my feet going in there, like that I was gonna have like gross feet because my dad has kind of like gnarly feet of from like me you growing got up. Healthy feet. Well, They're she healthy. Well, I brought him in, and she goes, "You actually have very clean feet." And I was like, "Really?" And my wife made what, fun what of the, me because I Asian lit lady? up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lit up. And I was like. Thank you. <laughs> like, yeah, like I, was so, so crazy. I was so excited that she said that I had clean that's feet. That's crazy. So that was a compliment. You have beautiful yeah. white feet. <laughs> beautiful Thank white you. Caucasian feet. Thank you. So tender. Now, I have a problem. Now that Wait, you brought that up. No, no, hold up, hold up. I don't done. want to forget. No, I, I was to... starting go my ahead. freaking story. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was wearing this shirt at the nail salon. And it says, think about it. Says, think about it. And then with the Asian and she goes, that looks like an Asian man on your shirt. And I go, oh, it is. I do a podcast with him. And my wife goes, yeah, that's Steve Lee. And she goes, yeah, he looks like a Lee. <laughs> I'm telling you the real, real right now. Get back in your freaking chair, dude. With those amazing scissors. Yeah, I could handle it. She said I look like that looks like a Lee. Yeah. I, now, I was going to That's good you said that cuz I was going to say a story defending them. Defending who? Specifically. The Asian ladies working at these pedicure places. Okay. Because every time I walk by, I I would be mad like, god, how come these how come they're on their knees and they're, you know, they're, they're like, they're working hard. They're like, yeah. yeah. But the way I looked at it, they're like, like, they're like doing like, you know, like slave work or something. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Like they're all, you know, but you know what? I'm not going to say anything. That's, that's their job. Cause I was going to say that. Where are it, you going with this? I don't know. I was going to say, cause she, she, she talked down on that shirt and she said, I look like. Ali what does that mean anyway? I think she like might Ali. have been Vietnamese and she recognized that this was a Korean looking man on my so shirt. So she could tell <laughs> she could tell that person looks Korean. I think all you Asians know how to differentiate really well what between other hell? Asians. What is going on now? What do you all mean? you Asians. Yeah, all you Asians. You're throwing us all into a crab bucket. No, I'm saying you. Oh, now you got to watch out what you're saying, brother. I'm saying Asian Ooh. people are really good at differentiating between other Asian people. That's fair to say. So I said all you Asians. My apology for saying all you yeah. Asians. You know what? It's This is my analogy. Going back to that, it's kind of like similar to like, 
you know, like you go to a subway, like a train station, and you see like black folks, like sh- do, like back in the day, sh- sh- uh, shining shoes or something. It's okay. Like, and that's the way, like, I think... You were looking at the nail yeah, salon? Yeah, I think maybe people, I'm saying maybe people that are non-Asian doing that look at them like that. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. I want to hear it from you. <laughs> what? I mean, am I far off saying that? Do I think that that people look down on people who do or work at nail salons? My shoe shine analogy, just my shoe shine analogy, as far as I think the perception towards that type of work. I think any person who could be potentially racist might look at like like it as a certain way, but I I think it's a it's but a good paying job. But, you know what I mean? But you're not one of them, are you? Why are you asking me that? That's you know why the we're answer si- that's to why that. we're sitting brothers. I love you, dude. I know. Why? See, you, see, no. he, you just passed like three tests. So <laughs> did I? You did with flying colors. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, no offense to uh, call me out looking Korean. You know that's fine. Oh, okay. Cool. Caught me off guard, but that's fine. Wow, this yeah. episode's starting out. Oh, pretty, with a freaking yeah, bang, dude. Yeah. With a fr- All we have to do is podcast for an hour before we start the podcast. Then it starts off with a hit. Oh, there's some animosity in that tone. It's my wife's birthday. I know. Shout out to Maya. (laughs) Shout out to Maya. Try not to miss milestones. Shout out to Maya. Happy birthday. (laughs) You have some other talking points, too, you wrote down. No, no, no. You you said... You said... Well, no, the, my stuff is more like just like what's going on in my neighborhood. You know, there's like... uh, I want to hear about that. Yeah, there's... I think that with um, what's happening... Specifically in the Holly, Holly weird Hollywood area, there's more. You know what I noticed too is there's um, they're they're getting rid of like mom and pop houses and building these uh, the McMansion yeah kind of the thing? McMansion condo yeah, type yeah, yeah, yeah. deals. And not only that, it just not only that I notice like more and more ho- homelessness and weird activities. What do you mean by weird activities? Well, I saw um. A trans person with a pink wig in front of my place, kind of eyeing the fence, and it it kind of scared me. Before I Ubered over here, and I'm like, "What do you mean by eyeing the fence?" Well, eyeing the front of our building, oh, like, just like, like kinda... scoping it out. Okay, yeah. and so I'm like, oh, "Okay," and so it just made me think, like, "Damn, things are getting sketchier over here." That's all, you know. Because I had one dude come in. Thank God. Uh, so shout out to Marcella. She has one of those. Um, what are those cameras like the home cameras like the rings or whatever. the ring cameras yeah, yeah. and dude there's one dude he happened to be a white guy walked in and he, he just walked in and took a a dump like right next to my door and um i think it's in the back area he took a dump next to yeah, your you know, door yeah on the side of it yeah so that really made me mad do you think he's friends it, with the do you think he's friends with the owl the owl that lives by your place? Maybe. I've never seen somebody scratch themselves with scissors, like with the sheathed scissors. But like, dude, like his you. dump, it looked like a horse's dump. It was just, it, it was like he held it for a week. And Hashtag no- Scissor Bros is the most authentic <laughs> podcast there is. And I noticed it was on me because it was closest to my door. And, but the smell, it would not go away. So it, every time I opened the door to like maybe go to in and out or to the grocery store, it'd make me mad. I would like take a whiff like, and I would look over at it like, damn. Did you clean it up? I, I let it dry. I let it dry up first. So the trick, like, you know how like certain dog owners, they might um, not pick up their dog's poo? Yeah. And then a method is to let it dry up so it gets... Uh, not calcified, but hardened, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. So I let it, yeah, I let it completely, uh, like, completely dry. Wow. Yeah, so we can edit that out, you know? We'll edit it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because so, you know what? We're authentic. Yeah, so I, I noticed that, and um, I'm getting a lot, um, I'm just getting nervous energy as far as my living situation, not knowing how long I'm, I'm going to be there, where I'm going to go and, and all that. Like it's been on my mind. I'm like, okay, this is not going to last forever. Cause I've been there 18 years. So I'm thinking I just got to get ready. Be ready. Wow. Yeah. Maybe I could live r- around this area. Your apartment's finally of age. It's, yeah. It's getting up there. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting up there. <laughs> it's 
kidding up there. Have you heard of the acclaimed? Is that a movie or something? Wrestlers. Acclaimed wrestlers. We keep getting tagged so much. There are these guys who scissors is their thing, and they do this with each other, like before and after wrestling matches. And there's is fans. Is it like professional and, wrestling? Yeah, the AEW. There's fans in the audience who are holding up scissor signs and stuff like that, and people are like, "Whoa, these guys are ripping you off." Were they there before us? Or? I don't know about that. We got to have them on the podcast, though. We got to figure a way out to get them on the podcast. So I don't get it. So they're called, the, are they this, they're called the acclaimed? That's like their sim, symbol. Yeah, they're called the acclaimed, but. But what does that have to do with scissors? We're called the scissor bros. I know. But what, why does, what does the acclaimed have to do with scissors? I don't know. That's just a thing that they do. Huh. Interesting, Well, maybe huh? we could do like a wrestling match with them. Whoa. And they could, they, you know, because they're big guys. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. big. Like Andy Kaufman, the way he used to do with the female of course. contestants and yeah. wrestle them. Yeah. So let's do a call to action. Okay. So shout out to the acclaimed um, wrestling duo for, is it WW? AEW, I believe. AEW. Um, we challenge you to a wrestle to a wrestle off. I'm about 140 pounds. How much? I'm like 175 right so now. So 140, 175. You guys are probably well over 200 pounds, but we'll still... Accept the challenge. Okay. Okay. Do you back me up? Yeah, I'll be your tag team partner. Come on, man. So they're claimed if you're man enough. Whoa. You hear that? I'm 140 pounds. 175. I'm 175. 140. Of... We got we got it. Yeah. Do they wear masks? Like what? What's their? No. Out? So they have scissors on their tights and stuff. Mm, no, it's more like the symbols and stuff. But they have like pink tights that they wear. I just don't understand the connection to the claim to where does scissors c come into that. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. Okay. Ryan, do you know any of this? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Great addition, Ryan. Nope. <laughs> I can't nope. talk to you. My camera is dead. <laughs> That's fine. They can't see me because we podcast for an said hour no. before the podcast. Whoa. Now somebody's getting a little snippy Wait, with what us. What did you say, Ryan? My camera's dead because we podcasted for an hour before the podcast. And it was running that whole time. Taking jabs. <laughs> you know what? I owe you guys a pizza or something, you know? Because I'm... Why? We just were bringing up stuff. I know, but he's bringing up the camera power, the battery life. Hey, man, that's on him. Yeah. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. You don't have to no, apologize. No, cool, what is this? What is this mumbling? <laughs> You know what? Oh, one la last. Uh, can I can I add another tidbit in there? Of course, I would. I, I, love I am going to start working on a music project. My homie Mestizo reached out to this guy who has a small label. They said they would want to put out like if I had a like a like a rap project or something. So I, I'm going to start working. I, I started working on it um, the other night. Like I had to dust off the sampler. So I want to put that out now. So just you know the progression. It might take me a while. I don't have a concept, but yeah. Why, why are you scratching your chin, man? Interesting. Oh, because of the stuff that we talked. Interesting. Yeah. This is all making more sense now. Oh, it is. You think? Yeah, I should have mentioned that. You think? Yeah, because all my time, I want to make it really good. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for <laughs> filling in the freaking missing gaps. Steve drops a bomb on me before we start recording. I don't know if I want to do music on Scissor Bros anymore. I'm no, like, no, what? no, no, no. I still want to, but I I should have added the other thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I should have brought that up. Yeah. Okay. That See, makes that, way more sense. I feel like I'm going crazy. No, like, yeah, okay. I've just been feeling no, this for a while. No, no. I'm like, what? You know what? That was a little passive aggressive. I should have said that at the beginning. So I apologize to you too. Uh, you know, I just, this just happened the other day, man. And I, like, it, it's been a while since I worked on a music project. You I know, want like you to work a on solo music album. projects. Yeah. And so, so this presented itself. I'm like, oh, you know what? I should probably look into that because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I'm, we're doing, I'm doing two podcasts. You're d hitting the road doing your comedy. And I'm like, well, I have, maybe I could, you know, instead of Warzone and all the time, I could hop on the, the sampler yes! again. And, and I want this for you, dude. I want this for you, brother. 
You should, uh, dude. I'm, I know it's to see that. That's where I. I want this for you. I should have brought that up. Like I should have worded it that way. That yeah. was that was you, a bit passive the aggressive. Word, the way you worded it was yeah, just yeah. like I'm not feeling uh, yeah, 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 music yeah. lately. I should have said, "Hey, like, man, I wanted what? to like put a lot of time and energy in this this project that I'm going to be working I on." I want you to put out more albums. I, I, I so I apologize. I should have been more transparent. So my apologize. I, my apologies to you two. You know, sorry Support for taking Steve's up Steve's music. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, yeah. His okay, music. okay. So I'm sorry. I should have. Uh, I should have uh, presented it like that. Okay. That makes me look like a crazy person. Like, why wouldn't I mention that? Wow. <laughs> I'm crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, authenticity, baby. I get crazy, bro. I get crazy. I go to dark places, bro, you know? So this keeps me, like, even keeled. Good. I want you yeah. to make music yeah. that makes you happy, no, no, dude. No, no, it's, it's just, I look, of it, I look at it as art. I'm old, bro, you know, so I'm not, like, doing it like, oh, I'm going to get signed or this or that. I'm doing it literally because it's going to, it's like an art, like a painting or something. I'm like, oh, I haven't painted in a while. Yeah. Might as well pick up the brush again. That's all it is, you know? So, I'm sorry. I should have I should have said it like that. It's all good, yeah. man. So. Makes more sense. I have context now. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I, should, I don't know why I wouldn't bring that up. That's like the first thing I should have said. Huh, that's uh, so interesting. <laughs> go ahead, look at, there you go, look at the notes. You got some, <laughs> you got other things to add. No, you know what, I like, I like when we just are spitballing back and forth. And you do? Things. Yeah, th yeah. that's the real, real. So, um, th going back to that shirt, so you, 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 you were selling those at, at your local comedy, sh like when you were on the road? Yeah. And so let's give a shout out to some scissor, scissor siblings that what came out and supported that. Yeah. The uh, shout out to our scissor siblings who Thanks came for, out uh, in Fort buying Worth, the merch, Texas. you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Hooked you up with some Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Some this, scratching yeah. and yeah. Show Ryan a little love yeah, too, right, yeah. Ryan? Uh, Got yourself a little combo meal uh, on little, the way back. Little Kit Kat. <laughs> 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 okay, so I want to talk about I've mentioned this before on the podcast, but like like I've said before, I wish that you got to experience the love that I get when I go on the road and I meet our scissor siblings in person because they is love it, you so much. Is it pure positivity? Yes. Yes. The, the, you see it in the comments, of course, on YouTube. I don't read the comments, brother. Um, <laughs> I don't read my um, – even on the Steve Weeby show. I, I, you know, maybe I should, but I, you know, I'm trying to – yeah, I don't want to, you know, right, right, right. enter that, you know. Okay, so anyway. Okay, go ahead, man. Keep it positive, huh? Uh, the people that I meet in person are always amazing, and I'm always super grateful. And they they're all, they always express how grateful they are and how much they love you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wish that you could actively hear that um, a little bit more. And um, you know what? I'm going to suggest a new bit for us. We're always trying to reinvent the show. We're oh, the, always trying to have is, new is segments and stuff is like that. Like a positive affirmation. Yeah, stuff? I want us. Well, I'm going to figure out the logistics of this, but I think uh, there's some other podcasts that have toyed with this in the past, and I think it'd be cool for us if we set up uh, like a Google number where people could leave us voicemails or something, and then we could occasionally play those on the podcast. Positive. We're not going to play negative. <laughs> We're not going to play trollish voicemails on the podcast, dude. That'd be crazy. I mean, that would be. That would be a crazy segment. That would be. Steve, you got a pancake face, man. Just quit it already, man. <laughs> quit your pancake face? You know, <laughs> is, that what, is that what you think when you look in the mirror? You night? know what's weird? Is even my girl. Shout out to my girlfriend, man. She really says. <laughs> your voice changed. She, she, she said, you have to start giving yourself more credit, looking at yourself more positively. There's nothing but like dark clouds up here sometimes. Yeah, dude, you got sex appeals. What she's trying to say? She likes my hair. Oh, good. Yeah, because it's starting to feather all the sides and everything. Yeah. But uh, For, going from Steve Lee to Jet Lee over there, man. <laughs> Keep that up. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, so she was like, "You got to give yourself more credit, babe." Like, right? You know. But go back to your affirmation. So go ahead with your segment idea. I think that we could set up, I, Ryan, it wouldn't be that hard for us to set up, uh, I don't think, where we could set up uh, where people could deposit um, voicemail messages to us or send us voice memos to scissorbrospod at gmail.com. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, what? I like that. What if we do another segment 
where they could uh, phone in or leave a voice a memo message of questions, you know, we to can ask. do that too. Yeah. And then we'll read them. You know what I'm saying? I know the other podcasts have done that, but I think yeah. that would be cool. And Ryan can surprise us with them. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's start doing that. You like that? Yep. I, I like that really, a lot. Really yeah. cool. I think that I think the more we have a uh, crowd participation, like, well, that's what I, uh, yeah, you know, I think people, we should and people start are sending in more music and stuff like that, which that's which, a part of it, which we started to play some of them, which we appreciate uh, mm-hmm. anytime you guys send in music and art and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that was something that we were really good about when we started the podcast and uh, we want to get back into that, especially since we have a producer now who can kind of yeah. help and us he's doing wrangle a great some job. of the content. We love you, Ryan. You're doing yeah. a great job. Thank Killing you very much. Killing it, man. But yeah, I, uh, that that gets a new me, segment idea. I but think that gets me cool. excited. I like, like that. That See? gets me excited, like th- this type of thing, because I'm Good. like, oh yeah, I'd like to do that. Great. Because even these other podcasts that I've witnessed, I'm like, they have kind of their own version of that. Yeah. We could kind of do that, make it our own, like we, yeah, do our as Sizzle far Bros as have, version, like put a little twist on it. Sure. Yeah. That'd be great, man. Yeah. yeah. So, the, so you you're back from the road. Oh, yeah. so. While I'm in Texas, this is what I what I appreciate there, about our scissors. There, there you go. I uh, when I was there uh, on Thursday night, I go back to my hotel after I did. Uh, we did a live stand up on the spot there with some of the local Texas comics and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Great show. We had scissors siblings mm-hmm. who came out. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah. What what you're doing that I, I love that you 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 stayed on the the right track with that. You know, so keep keep, keep doing the stand up on the spots. I think, oh, I think your hard work's paying off. And everything. Well, people yeah. loved yours. Yeah, yeah, I've been getting some positive feedback oh, on good. that too. Yeah, good, yeah, good. yeah. yeah. Um, so, ahead. I rolled back to my hotel with uh, a couple other friends who were on the show. So it's me and like four other people, which looks a little bit suspect rolling into a hotel with me and four people deep. You know what I mean? Why? Why is that suspect? Because they're not staying at the hotel, so it, it, you is know, it it can four look dudes. At, uh, uh, one uh, female comic and uh. Like three or four other uh, comedian. Is uh, that male against comments. hotel policy to have added guests or? Uh, well, can't they you be can't take guests? them up to your room necessarily, but like we were hanging in the lobby, we want to eat some food. You can't take them up to your room. Why not? You're. I mean, you're just not supposed. That's a policy. You're not supposed that's to have like. That's a policy in hotels. You can't have like parties in your room. You're like. If I thought you're, that's you're, what hotels are for. I think people party in hotel rooms. You're technically not allowed to do that. Is that is that is that this is a real rule? Yeah, I mean, if you have, I thought, I thought throughout history, they have a, no, 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 they have a max like like occupation per room. Like, if you buy a king size bed, they're expecting two to three people max in that room. So there's a mandatory, there's a mandate on that. If you go over the limit, they'll have. Is there a hotel person that'll knock on the door and say, "Hey, there's, you have to." If you have a bunch of people who are going into a hotel room, yeah, they're going to knock on the door and be like, "Hey, there's too many people in here. What are you doing?" But then, how do they get um? Oh, get away with partying because that's what hotel like if you look at the I'm using the standard in hot like in LA yeah. I'm sure there's like rooms that are doing cocaine and you know popping bottles and I think doing, that's on doing another another tier of, like I think that they oh, so you're talking about more like working class hotels like the Hyatt or something like yeah that. oh gotcha gotcha yeah. I didn't know like I'm not I didn't right. I thought that I didn't think there was rules like that yeah uh, so I walk in and, uh, the, the guy at the front was, um, kind of giving me a weird look, uh, because I was coming in with people and I was like, ah, oh, sorry, man, I'll, I'll grab my, my room key. I'm staying here. Yeah. And then I start to kind of fumble for it and it's taking a second. He goes, I know who you are. I go, what? And then he just looks at me and he smiles and he goes, and I go, what? The <laughs> hotel? Yeah. And Get I go, out of town! No, the go, hotel butler, dude, the dude at the front desk, the concierge, the con. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edit, edit out butler. Yeah, I didn't mean. <laughs> edit it back yeah, in. Yeah. That's funny. I like that's the idea. Of, that's kind of. I like the idea of a butler. Being um, and he went like this. Hotel. He did the, our scissor. He did scissors, and I, I, I was like, oh, what up, dude? We start talking and stuff, and he goes, dude, my friend's not gonna believe that you're staying at my hotel that I work at. I go, well, so let's, now it's his hotel. I mean, where, <laughs> where he kidding. works at. Where I'm just he kidding. Works I'm at. just kidding. And I go, well, let's make him a video. Let's send it to him. So I like he grabbed his, his phone and we. I said, hey, hey, Colin, uh, we wish you were here, man. Like, where are you, man? Like, I'm hanging out with your friend Bruce right now. You should have been here, dude. So I go to play pool because there's a pool table in the lobby. You, of course of, you went to play uh, pool. It's an A-loft. So of they course. always have a pool table, right? Of course. Dude, Bruce texts his friend Colin that video. Colin comes over in five minutes, and I meet the friend who he just texted. He he came over. He that came fast? to the hotel that fast. 
he went and then well he i guess he just got enough work and he 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 like rushed over there damn you're like john travolta man so then <laughs> i don't get that <laughs> reference but <laughs> why would i be like john travolta he's a star oh okay okay, okay, okay. no okay. oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's your caliber yeah, yeah, of star. Don't, don't analyze it okay cool just i won't look into it. it too much okay damn. so then uh basically uh he says yeah we both actually play pool we're both pretty good i go oh i'd love i'd love to play you dude steve he didn't beat you they were they did no yeah they were good they were really good they didn't beat you though yes they did I they beat you i played colin probably 12 games and i beat him four out of 12 games he was really good he whooped your ass so that means they're I good because I know how good you are. Hey man, I wouldn't say that. Okay, okay, okay. It was, okay. It was I mean, obviously the score will tell you. Yeah, you yeah, did yeah, a yeah. Pretty yeah. freaking good job. Yeah. Um, but I, I, dude, I played pool with the both of them till four thirty in the morning. Wow. And they were just cool scissor siblings that I just. Do you have hang a clip with, of them? Dude. I want to give them some love. Um, I have um a clip. Yeah, I've got a couple clips that I'll play in a second here. Yeah. Son, thank you so much for doing our weekly Zoom meeting as you're in outer space in college. Thank you, Father. I'm having a great time at Andromeda University preparing for my midterms. The only problem is these clunkers, these headphones suck. Do you have anything better, Father, you could send me? Well, of course. What have you been using your tuition money on? Huh. I've got plenty of recommendations for you. And they're called... Raycon. Now, I've been listening to a lot of Lizzo recently with your mother. And they've been sounding phenomenal in my ear holes. Really progressive stuff. No matter what you like listening to, it'll sound better with Raycon earbuds, son. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. They won't budge with optimized gel tips for that perfect in-ear fit. Raycon offers three sound profiles. Whether you want to be immersed in sound or hear your surroundings, Raycon does it. Check out Raycon's wireless earbuds. Go to buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15 today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15 to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15. I like using these Raycons on my flights in between Empanita and Brazil and all of my business trips. And the next time you travel to outer space, you should try them because the batteries last for up to 32 hours, son. Awesome, Father. Will you send me a pair of these awesome Raycons immediately? Of course, son. I love you so much. One last request, Father. Raycon. Raycon. So this is how cool, on top of that, just hanging out with our scissor siblings in the wild, was not only were they nice we all gelled immediately we all vibed and we we're like you know playing pool like like talking about how we had similar upbringings in different ways and stuff like that uh bruce who who runs a hotel um he did an act of kindness where he was able to get my buddy who was staying really far away he was able to get him a room at the hotel last minute and he helped him out with that like he hooked it up? I can't technically say whether that happened or not. Okay. You know? Okay. But he did a cool thing where, like, he got a discount or something on, on something. You know what I mean? And uh, and then Colin, he said, come to my my steakhouse tomorrow. I'll feed you and your friend. Well, he worked at a steakhouse? Yeah. Oh. I went there the next night with my friend Joey Smith, and we dined like kings before of I went to my show. Did. You know what? The, what that reminds me of what? that movie Fight Club. How you know, like Ed Norton, like he'll yeah, go, yeah. and then like the guy at the restaurant will go, you know, on me or you yeah, know, right, like, right, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. that. Dude, you, that's really happening in real life. So for shout you. out to our scissor siblings. 
Bruce and Colin in Fort Worth. And here's a couple clips of one clip of pool and then uh, one clip at the steakhouse. Fucking good shot, man. Oh, we're winner. Dang it. Dang it. Eating a next level meal at Bob's Chop and Steakhouse is some tuna tartar. Cheers, Cheers, my friend. Yeah. To Bob. To Bob. And Colin, most importantly. With two L's. Oh my goodness. Unreal. 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 Can't wait to try this. That's Colin. He's the freaking man. Pretty cool, man. How good was that steakhouse? Phenomenal. I couldn't even finish it. Well, you all get a baseball the... steak. What kind of steak you get? I got a ribeye. How was it juicy or fourteen ouncer, baby? And what are the sides? You get some. Uh... Dude, we had tuna tartare as an appetizer. God dang. We had mashed potatoes. Hell yeah. Oh, it was phenomenal. God damn, that's making me hungry. Man. Yeah, dude. Was it quality? It's like one of the best steakhouses. In... So if you compare it to Morton's. Oh, it was just like that. You were even better. Better than Morton's? I think. I haven't really been to Morton's. I don't know. I know that you guys went to Morton's. What about Laurie's? Like, I know that you and Bob went to Morton's uh, instead of eating dinner at Eric Griffin's wedding, but continue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Oh, oh. Oh, it hit below Authentic. the belt. Authentic podcast. You only, you only get the real, the real on Scissor Throwing Bros. Your scissor Brother under the bus. Hey, man. Woo! I'm talking it real. hurt bad. Ooh. Woo, you hear woo, that woo, crunch? Woo. You hear that crunch? You broke ready. a couple bones and some ribs. Wow. I, In my defense, I ate stuff at Eric's wedding. I ate some of the stuff. I saw. There you go. Let him know, though. You're making it seem like I just did. I mean, I was eating the salad, the bread, all that. Yeah, salad and bread. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Throw me under the bus two times. <laughs> two times. It's okay. He didn't pay uh, a lot of money for the plates or anything. <laughs> three times. <laughs> Keep it at three. Okay. Because my heart's just, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Eric. We love Eric Griffin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to get him back on the podcast, as a matter of fact. We love you, Eric. We love you, Eric Griffin. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So that was a that was a very cool experience uh in Fort Worth. I also went to a gun range. I haven't been to a I gun saw, range I in years. I saw years. some of that. Someone tagged me or DM me you shooting a gun and it freaked me out. Did it freak you out? Yeah, because you were so violent shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, like it, it, like, empowered you. And so I saw your face and your energy after you did that. And I'm like, oh, not a fan. <laughs> what? Oh, I, that one I, hurt, had to, I had to throw you under oh. there, too. Oh. Wow. Such you, a violent act. Oh. Just, I know we have the right to bear arms and, 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 you know, there's amendments, you know, protecting your right to to have a gun and shoot guns but wow it says a lot about what's, what's underneath there just yeah in fact i felt like you were shooting me when you shot that target <laughs> shut it up, was dude. like shut it, up. it's like you went to the guy hey can you you have a five foot four asian uh, silhouette <laughs> man ever dude yeah, five four uh, like a bull haircut yeah just <laughs> make sure he's five four five five yeah because i have this guy uh, you know I, I do a podcast i just want to shoot his head off yeah, no, you got you got it like a semi-automatic. Yeah, I need it can't be a pistol. You want to know some real real talk? Yeah. Uh, as a kid, I was a card holding member of the NRA. Kansas baby, built different in Kansas, built Ford tough. Now other guns in here, new. Now you got me scared, dude. Gerald is strapped right now. What up, Gerald? Yeah, I'm strapped right now. And it's got Ryan's motherfucking name on it. He can't even keep me cropped in the front. Steve, why are you jerking me off and stuff, man? I mean. If you're going to do it, just like, let me know. Whoa. Gerald, Don't want to mess so with him, you, man. You got a pistol somewhere? Don't want to mess with that, dude. Gerald, you got you got a piece on you? Huh? Gerald's clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Wow. I never knew. Yeah, man. So what does that make you feel, shooting a gun? Like, does it make you feel like a big man? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> I did. I went yeah. full auto, and um, 
It was insane, dude. You, I went full auto. Of course you went full auto. It was called full auto Fridays. Dude, it was wild there. There was people, Steve, it was so, it's just different in Texas, man. There was a dude on crutches that came in to shoot a gun. There was a baby, a dad holding a baby that was walking around. What that, kind of guns are they? Semi-automatic? Like? I shot an AR-15. <sighs> what? Do you own a gun? No, not currently. I'm going to ask you one more time. Hey, man. Do you own a... Is there a gun here? Listen, we're machete brothers. You know that we both sleep with machetes next to our bed. You don't own a, a pistol? Not currently. Are you open to getting a gun? Yeah, I grew up with guns. Okay, I feel like cool. in the right in the right circumstance... You got to protect your family, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah. The discussion... To protect now, your family. Now, after I shot the auto, though, I mean, I don't think it's... A civilian should have uh, a fully auto. How many gun. bullets does it unleash? It was like, thirty rounds in ten seconds. Pop, 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 pop. Oh my! You could, I mean, that's why it's scary. Oh it's like, my god! But that's just—I I don't want to get political on the show. Everybody, yeah, 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 I, we're not I, getting political. I believe in the right I, to bear I'm arms. I'm honestly you know? curious about that because I—I I, I just I, think I, it's over. It's a little bit much if you have a fully auto. Like I don't know if anybody for, needs though? that. That's beyond protection, right? Wouldn't you say? I don't know. Let's uh, shift uh, hey, gears a little bit. Hey, you brought it up, man. I was going to bring up guns. You're the one who's you're like... You're the one that went to one, a gun dude, range, Dude, you're bro. the one who's like, you oh, you feel like range. a big man holding a gun? Is that how you feel? I was messing with you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> hey, why don't we do a Scissor Bros segment where you bring me... Because bring me to a gun range. You've never shot a gun before? Yeah. Really? you never one. shot a gun? A Red Ryder BB gun when I was a kid. That don't count. Well, you were good at that because you're good at pumping things. There it is. There's the punchline. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, dude. There you go. Line did, it up. Go ahead. You did you put lotion down. up against the there red uh, or BB gun? Number two. Two. <laughs> Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Did I glaze the... T go ahead. I bet, I bet you ran out of your load pretty quickly shooting the gun. I don't know. Okay. That's good. Okay, Thank cool. You. Cool. That was great. That was forced. The third one was forced. Um, all right. So you had some fun. Do you have you have some uh, video of you at the range? Do you want to? Oh, I do. Yeah. So, Brian, when was the last time you shot a gun? Uh, about 10 years ago. Nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. It's been about five years for me. And how did we do on the target? I mean, we were a little low. We were, you know, we hit the, the lightning bolt a couple times, but we lit up this fool's chest, but... I didn't even aim for, I, I kind of wish I would have aimed for the neck or I didn't even really yeah, look at these. I didn't do that either. But it's cool. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Once you once you get into it, you're like, oh, the power. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Dude, they've got kids guns here. That's right. Come on. Do you want a little rascal? I know I do for Christmas. Get one in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> This just in, we have just gotten word from our producer. We cannot show gun range footage on YouTube. I guess uh, it'll get us demonetized. So um, I'll put it on patreon.com slash scissor bros. There you go. Patreon.com slash The uncut bros. stuff we throw on there. Exclusive content, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. Sign up today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I'd like to go though. I'll go. I want to go at least once. Just to feel it. Yeah. Have you ever been to an axe throwing range? Sorry, I just had a weird... No, I want to try that out too. Yeah? You throw the axe... Yeah, like on a like a tree trunk or something or yeah. some... Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I haven't done any of that. Okay. Yeah. Well, that could be a fun challenge for us. Axe throwing. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Or a gun range where... Well, no, we can't. <laughs> no. Axe throwing. Yeah, axe throwing. Yeah. 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 Huh. Oh, you'll appreciate this. Yeah, I love it. Go ahead. Have you seen a movie called Hollows Grove? Shout out to our main man, Craig, Craig Efros. He wrote and directed this movie. Yeah, give I, Craig some love. Show It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Um, Craig is instrumental in helping us launch Scissor Bros. And Tell him helping, what he did. Tell him what he did. Dude, he edited Be so real many of it. the early episodes. Like, like, he, he like, helped and it. Help, helped it grow the podcast, and we're Free forever of charge grateful. Too. I know. We owe him like eighty-five thousand uh, dollars. A lot of sun <laughs> A lot of that. 
A lot of that, my friend. That's love from his heart, I brother. Know. He I believes know. in us. Yeah. And then, dude, he was spending mad nights up all night, staring at that monitor, doing the damn thing. So, so he, uh, you know, we we were talking one night, and he casually mentioned, like, "Oh yeah, you know, I, I." Um, you didn't know he directed Hollow Crow? Well, he he came up. I put it in my in my the notes in my phone, mm-hmm. right? And I was like, "Oh, dude, I'll definitely watch that." And uh, I was going through my notes on my phone. And because my and I were wanting to watch something last night, and I go, "Oh my god, I forgot! Craig has a movie on Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. We gotta watch it, yeah, dude! Man. I watched it. I gotta say, Scary, I was really huh? impressed. He d- wrote and directed it, dude. I I know. Yeah, I talked. To, I called him right afterwards. I was like, dude, this is like a legit movie. Because you never know, like with friends, like with indie movies and stuff like that, like if it's gonna look good or sound good it could yeah. be you never know but i was like i was like wow this is really cool man i was really impressed i was, I was like proud of him i was like yeah, i know it came out a while ago but yeah i'm just saying shout out to our buddy craig so go uh, watch hollows grove today yeah it's on yeah. amazon prime mm-hmm. it's like a it's kind of like a, a found footage uh horror paranormal activity uh kind of thing hopefully that's an okay description mm-hmm but Dude, I feel like Craig, it's kind of like that. Craig's our boy, man. He's helped out. A, he's helped out a lot. It's like a faux documentary kind oh, of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like kind of like a found footage. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Type deal. Yeah, yeah. But and anyway, it, it was scary. Even like the the elementary school and like the way that was shot. As far as like, there's a lot of subtleties. Yeah, that I really yeah, like too, yeah. That things moving around in the background. Yeah. I will I won't say too much. Yeah, yeah don't say too much. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks for watching that, man. Yeah, of course. You know that, that I mean, it, was, it was cool, he, man. He, that's gonna make it feel good. I called him right away. I was like, "Dude, I, I'm like, I know, Good, I know I, I'm like, I know I'm late on this, but I was yeah, dope." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm excited about is Warzone Two. Okay, go Cause on. Because peop, people have been bringing it up while I'm, I've been playing with them, and they're like, "Have you got? You got it? You got it?" And I'm like. Because the beta's out now, right? I haven't even played the beta, but they're like, I asked them, "Is it good?" They're like, "Yeah, man. With the graphics, the graphics are." better it's upgraded and they 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 said they mentioned another um interesting aspect uh you know like the old one had the gulag if you died you go to the the russian gulag yeah well i think in the war zone 2 uh you get to compete with your other fallen soldiers as a group in the gulag you know Mm. so i think that's interesting because it's like you're bringing like the outside game into this microcosm uh, in the gulag where you have to like work together to because if once you die in the gulag, the game's over. That kind of reminds yeah. me. Did you ever used to play a game called Perfect Dark? No. On Nintendo sixty four? No. Were you were always I a PlayStation guy? I know. Me and you are off on movies. Just everything we kind of have a different. We've had a different experience. No. Gen to gen, baby. <laughs> no, I didn't play that. <laughs> Tune in, Eric Griffin's yeah. podcast. That's the gen- whole premise of their podcast is is the generational oh, gap. Oh, gen to gen, yeah. Mm-hmm. I grew up with the old Nintendo, like Kid Icarus, Kung Fu, right. Mike Tyson's but Punch Out. But you never out. owned a Nintendo 64? No, I don't think I had the what 64. What about a PS1? I had the old Nintendo Nintendo, the original I'm Nintendo. asking about PlayStation 1, I don't 1, even think though. you were born back then. What do you mean? Were you around the old school Nintendo with Duck Hunt? Yeah, I had that, dude. You? I you, had Duck Hunt growing up. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you had the old... Oh, you're not that much younger. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so um, I'm 63, 68, <laughs> 68. Looking one good more though, right? year, baby. I'll give it three more years, and I'm gonna exit the earth. I think. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We love y'all. Hey, Thanks for supporting Scissor Bro. We're not wrapping up. What are you talking oh, about? Oh yeah. What do you mean? We got things to do, brother. Or do you have something planned? Huh? We have a challenge. We do, huh? Yeah, of course we do. You want to present that? Well, Brian and I have been talking behind your back. Your biggest fear. Yeah. Oh, this is a fresh... This is... A, we're doing a challenge challenge right now. Yeah, we're it's doing... It's not a, cha- a cut to. No. Oh, this is a real live challenge. We're about to do a challenge right now. Oh, keep, keep going. Oh, yeah, okay. Ryan and I have been talking, and it's funny that he just mentioned that we can't bring up the shooting range footage because we couldn't use airsoft guns because we would get flagged and maybe pulled from YouTube for shooting each other with airsoft guns. 
Paintball guns? Paintball guns is probably the similar thing. Yeah, yeah. But what we have is the airsoft pellets, okay? And Ryan has gotten us two industrial strength slingshots. And we're going to put on eye protective wear. We're going to put targets on, our, on each other's chest. And the winner does what, Ryan? Gets to shoot the other one in the back up close. Oh, how big is the pistols? I uh, what's the? Uh, They're slingshots. They're little. They're little. Can you can you break? Can I look at one of them, please? You thought of this, man? Dude, we'll wear these goggles. I want for see safety. The... But dude, check out this. Oh, that's the real deal. This is a real wrist rocket, brother. And then what are we shooting from that? Holy moly. Let's go. This and is then crazy. Hello. We're going to do that with those? Yeah. And then wearing these targets. Then how do you know who hit what? Oh, oh. it's going to break through the paper. On the chest? Uh-huh. And then it can hit your Let's just do it. We have eye. We have eye protection. Okay, then on. we're good. With and the we'll eyes. put a hand over like yeah. this area. Yeah. And then how far apart? How far apart, Ryan? Yeah, both sides of the room where you're at now. Oh, really? We stay. We stay and seated. We, we stay seated, right? Yep. Oh, baby. So this is gonna be painful. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> could it? It could break skin, huh? Uh, if you shoot hard enough. It really depends how much you love each other. How much right? torque? Okay. I mean, what are we go. calling this challenge, Ryan? Slingshot challenge. The slingshot, slingshot challenge. challenge. All right. So we're about to do this. It's five versus five. Whoever can score the most points, loser gets to shoot the other one point blank in the back. And do you want to go first? Yeah, go ahead. You go first. You want me to set the tone? Yeah, you can set the tone. How far back we're going? Yeah. Okay. To be extra safe, we're going to cover uh, our mouths and noses up. The goal is to hit the targets, obviously. I'm not trying to hit anywhere near Steve's face. So here we go. You'll have to tell me how painful this is. I'm honestly a little bit nervous about this one. Dude, this is fucking... Is this safe, dude? Hmm? You ready? Dry, dude. This is crazy. You ready? I will. I'll go th all this this far to start. Okay. Ready? Oh, fuck, dude. Did it go through? Oh. I felt it right. I, fe I felt it right here, dude. I felt like it went through my skin. Okay. Did it go through the paper? Or to make a mark? No, it, it got me right here, though. Oh, I might have missed. Uh, fuck, that fucking hurt, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Be kind. Aim lower than, than higher. Oh, fuck. So you... Dude, honestly, this anticipation is the worst, <laughs> the worst thing part. freaking ever. Yeah. Seeing him load and everything. You saw how far I cocked back. Is it like Once this? It, oh, dude. Oh, what the frick. This is horrible. Oh. Even, you got it didn't right even here. fly let me see those eyes let the camera see those eyes <laughs> oh right above <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I can't, I'm not even fucking doing it right, dude. What do you mean? You hit, you're hitting me every time. You just shot me right here. Yeah. You I hit, hit me twice. You hit me right here and right here. I don't feel like I hit you. I know that you hit me. Did I hit him? Yeah, I heard it hit him. Look, there's oh, a well right oh, there. Okay, okay. There's a well right there. It instantly formed. Let's go. Let's get it going then. 
What are you freaking talking Let's about, dude? That's what we've been doing. Oh my goodness. Great freaking idea, Ryan. This was Ryan's idea. This is a beautiful <laughs> idea. Yeah, he got me. Oh. Well, we're already on number you, three. So are you? We're on number three right now. Is it like this? In the middle, like this? Yep. Like oh. this? Oh, that was a good one. Where was it? I can't see. I hit. Oh, dude, that was a good one. That was six. Oh, damn, I'm one behind. Yeah. Okay. So two. This, we have two more turns. Two more, yeah. two more turns. This is fun once you get freaking into it, dude. This is better than the shooting range. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit! That was a good one. Did I hit? Yeah, dude, I felt like you. I felt like you shot my heart. That was a good one. Good job, man. Real Where did that go? In my heart. You punctured. It? It, it, I don't. Whatever you did, it, it hit my heart. So I, I it's too high. It hit my heart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You having fun, Ryan? Yep. Actually, I think he hit on the outside of the. The outside of the paper. The black. No, no, no. I think you actually got a, a point. Yeah. Oh, what? You're wetting it down? No, I haven't. Oh, that was better. Oh, fuck, I oh, missed. Ow, open skin, though. Oh, oh well, one last one. This is the last one. You ready? It's a good one, dude. Real good one. <laughs> what do you say we go best out of seven? No, I'm done with this. It's your it's your wife's birthday. Okay, okay. Oh fuck, dude. You, dude. Holy dude, that that really hurt, dog. Holy moly. This is definitely the worst part. The anticipation leading up. Oh, I missed. You won. He won. He got me right here. Seven. You want to take a look? Yeah, let's take a look at these. Oh my goodness. Oh my. You got me here. Look. You got me here, here, and here. He got me three real, real good welts. Like this? <laughs> That's a bullseye, baby. I got 17, and Steve got six. All right, let's get this over with. Hold up, dude. Fuck. This okay. Hurt so bad. Okay. You you ready? Are you ready? It takes a brother to shoot another one in the back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Scissor Bros. Dance along with us at home right now. We hope you like that challenge. 
Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate and we love you all. See you next week. Love you, brother. Love you too, You're man. Good, sport, good job. Man. Good job. Scissor Brothers! Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and I was a little hard on Ryan earlier, but I warned him. I said, if you don't keep me properly cropped in the frame, then the next episode I'd go off. And, yeah, I went a little wild. Yeah. Did I threaten him with violence? Yeah. Did I say that I had a gun and his name was on it? Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen again. Sometimes you got to get a little, a little violent. Let people know that you're not some bush over fucking giraffe. I'll throw down in these streets, Ryan. I don't care if you're the new guy on the team. I've been in the team since day one. All right, I'm really sorry. I got upset about that. We love you, Ryan. We're working out the new kings and stuff like that. I understand. There's a learning curve. Anywho, hope you guys are having a good week. And, uh, oh yeah, I produced that new stand-up on the spot that's coming out. That bitch Jeremiah never gives me credit. But anyway, it's a good one. It's got Doug Benson and like Keon Poli and Ali Makovsky on it. It's just like, it's like a lot of fun. I think, it, oh yeah, Eddie Bravo too. That guy's wild. Okay, well, I gotta go. I got a, like a swinging thing that's going on at the watering hole. And I don't know who's, uh, who's, who's junk is gonna end up in my mouth later. All right, really got to go. Love you guys. Bye. I think I might red zone right now. (laughs) (laughs) That's the real thing. (laughs) See, now you're being real. I like that.